the ship service, girls. You sure know a lot of Navy talk, Reggie. It's called nautical talk, Betty. Gee, when I use nautical talk, I get my mouth washed out with soap. <laughs> Dig this boat. Hey, sailor, can we go aboard this butte? Sorry, mate. The ship is weighing anchor in ten minutes. Since when has the weight of an anchor been a military secret? I think Reggie will agree. He means the ship is leaving in ten minutes, Jug. Look, Jughead, you're like in a different world on a Navy base. The language spoken here has an entirely different meaning. All right, mate. Hurry! What was so different about that? Boy, what happened? We were just following orders. Uh, it seems we didn't look where we were walking, girls. Excuse us while we find some place to dry our clothes. You almost soaked us. And I just live for the weekends and a chance to put on my naval reserve uniform. I do hope I'm in time to catch Commodore Short's ship for its shakedown crew. My glasses, where do they go? Everything is a blur without them. Why don't you look where you're going, you... I beg your pardon, Commodore. The, the incident was all my fault. Yes, sir. Oh, like that is rough. I simply, sir, I, I seem to have lost my cap as well as my glasses. Oh, well, no time to worry about that now. Your ship must be ready to weigh anchor, sir. Sorry to hurry you along, Commodore, but we may be too late now. I wonder what the penalty is for impersonating an officer. <laughs> Boy, thank goodness we found these drawing machines. I'm sure no one will mind if we just borrow these sailor suits until our clothes are dry. Hey, how do I look, fellas? Like a real gop, Jughead. Oh, yeah? Put him up. Put him up. Take it easy, Jug. That's Navy talk for sailor. Oh. Wait till Veronica feasts her eyes on Reggie, babies. Hold it, Reg. We can't go out with these suits on. Why not? Oh, dear. We've missed the ship. Thank goodness. Have no fear, Commodore. We'll take the hydrofoil out to the ship. There's a crew now. Come on back, Reg. We'll get into trouble. Forget it. Ahoy there, sailors. Now we're in for it. It's Mr. Weatherby in his naval reserve uniform. I can explain everything, sir. Now look alive, sailors. Pipe down. Man the helm of that hydrofoil. Huh? Knock it off, you guys. He doesn't recognize us without his glasses. Besides, I always wanted to get behind the wheel of one of those babies. The Commodore and I must get aboard his ship at once. What? Did you get a look at the Commodore? Hot dog! Now, where could Hot Dog have disappeared to? Veronica, look. That must be some important official of the Navy being taken out to a ship. Betty! You won't believe it! What, Veronica? The boys have enlisted! What? And Mr. Weatherby and Hot Dog are their commanding officers! <laughs> You're wrong! I do believe it! Hush! Jughead! Oh, brother. Well, what's the matter, Reg? Huh? Never mind. I know. What's going on? Uh, I think there's something you should know, sir. The Commodore is a dog. 
What? The past has caught up with you, sir. The men are mutinying. But fear not, Commodore. I'll protect you with my life. <laughs> really, Commodore? <laughs> A simple handshake would have been sufficient. I demand you men return us to the base at once and suffer the consequences. I'm suffering. I'm suffering already. Oh, boy, Reggie. And we thought you were an old salt. Now get a hold of yourself, Reggie. Here, let me take over. Uh, how do you stop this thing? Yeah, let me help, boy. No, no, that's not right, Jughead. There's hope, sir. I detect dissension. Mutineers have started calling each other names, sir. Whoa! Take cover, Commodore. Who is attacking? Oh, how dare you attack the Commodore? You pirate! Sorry, Veronica. If you thought Mr. Weatherby was tough as a principal, you should see him as a naval reserve officer. Landing barge off the bow! Huh? Oh! Whew, that was close! You can say that again. No! We're going right into the Missouri! We've traveled that far? That's the name of a battleship! Oh, yes, of course. I was just interjecting a touch of humor into a tense situation, Commodore. <laughs> it's time I go on the offensive and regain command of the ship. And without thought of gaining the Navy Medal of Honor, uh, should you desire to recommend me for such? <laughs> I wonder what he'll recommend us for when he gets his glasses back. <laughs> All right, mutineers, surrender in the name of... <laughs> Quick, Chuck, throw her back! Aye, aye! Hang on, Arch, I think I got my sea legs now. Let's try, Rich. Hey, Chuck, I got her headed back. Nice going, Arch. Archie, Rage, Jughead. Oh, Commodore, those names ring a bell. Yeah, a bell. <laughs> Hurry up, guys. We gotta get these clothes changed before Mr. Weatherby comes too. Boy, Reg, you sure got us into a mess. He's coming too. And I hereby accept this Medal of Honor for single-handedly capturing Redbeard and his cutthroat pirates. Here, Archie. Hot dog lettuce to wear. Mr. Weatherby lost his glasses. Quick, get them on. Me? I run for President of the United States? Well, the first thing I'll do is... Uh, uh, Archie, Reggie, Jughead, Veronica, Betty, the first thing I'll do is run you all out of the country. Please, Mr. Weatherby, let me try to explain. I'll see you every day after school. Oh, uh, Weatherby. Oh, uh, Commodore Shore. That was an excellent exhibition of the maneuvers you put that hydrofoil through. I saw the entire demonstration from my ship. I'm going to recommend you be given an entire unit to train in the handling of hydrofoils. Thank you, Commodore. Thank you, sir. As I was saying, Archie, Reggie, and Jughead, I want to see you every day after school in my office and have you tell me how all of you learned about that ship. Say, being mistaken by Mr. Weatherby for that Commodore short is quite a compliment. He's quite a distinguished-looking gent. <laughs> Look, kids, it's just about time for the Archie Dance of the Week. In just a few moments, the gang and I will show you another brand-new groovy dance step that you can all watch and learn. So, don't go away. And now, a brand new dance to watch and learn. The Beanie! Well, put your right hand on your head. And with your left hand, hold the baby's left hand. Now put your left hand on your head. And with your right hand, hold the baby's right hand. And that's the Beanie. That's the Beanie. Do it! We've learned a new dance. Now let's dance it to a brand new song. Truck driver.
Baltimore She talked about it the night before She might have gone to New York City Skies are gray but the lights are pretty She might have gone to Hollywood I know she'd go there, she could Oh, truck driver to go water skiing, and Mom says I have to water the yard. Mmm, <laughs> you got it, hot dog. Ready. Jughead a lot lately just for laughs. But as the old saying goes, he who laughs last, laughs best. <whistles> hey, skin and bones. Huh? Oh, hi, you Reg. <laughs> Sorry about that, handsome, but you shouldn't stand so close to mud puddles. Why, some of that could have splashed off you onto me. Gee, I'm sorry, Reg. I'll, uh, I'll watch it next time. Boy, if I wasn't afraid of poisoning myself, I'd sure take a hook out of... Come on, hot dog. Hold the door, Reg. <laughs> sure. Oh, sorry, chum. Uh, sure, Reg. Accidents will happen. It wouldn't have if you hadn't been standing there. Watch that in the future, too. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. That does it. Poison or not? Hot dog! <laughs> Greetings, group. Hi, Hi Reggie. Reggie. Pull up a chair and rest your bones, pal. I don't mind if I do. Hiya, gang. <laughs> Sorry, Jug. This seat is taken. My mistake, Reg. <laughs> well, I'll see you all later. I gotta go get a bandage. I think I bit my tongue. Aren't you being a bit unkind to Jughead lately, Reggie? Come on, Reg. Just because Jug is easy going, there's no reason you have to pick on him. Me? Pick on Juggy? They haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be more careful. I seem to be goofing up a lot lately. Hey, handsome. Huh? Well, I'll be. You look like an intelligent type of guy. Say, you're handsome yourself. The name is John L. Sullivan Jackson, junior state karate champ. <laughs> My bus is laying over for a while. Can you tell me where I can pick up a malt and burger? Uh, down at Pop's Chocolate Shop, John. Thanks, pal. You can call me Jughead. It's a nickname. Well, wonders never cease. It's mine, too. Say, Jug, could I see the karate chop again? Sure, Jug. <laughs> see you around, good looking. So long, handsome. Kids and their newfangled dancers. <laughs> Groovy man, groovy. <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. I didn't see you. Pooch? Hiya, gang. 
Hiya, Jughead. Welcome back. Huh. Gee, how do you know my name? Oh, well, a lucky guess, I guess. Jum jiddy de jum jum cha jiddy jum dum cha. Now, Reggie, remember, be nice to Jughead. Sure, sure. Mind if I cut in, Jump? Chomp! Why, of course not, Jug. Be my guest. Thanks, Dad. Chee 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 choo choo. Why, Jughead, you're really some dancer. You know it, baby. You know it, baby. Hey, Popper, uh, give me a cup of water, huh? I'm a little thirsty. Sure, Reggie. Wow! Go, Jug, go! Uh, uh, pardon me, Betty. Uh, oops! Hey, wow! Go, Jug, go! <laughs> you gotta be more careful not to dance in water, Juggy. <laughs> Since I'm a guest in town, I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. Hey, everybody here seems to know my name. How's about telling me yours? Huh? Why, that last bowl must have jarred Juggy's memory. Why, hey, I'm Archie Jug, and it's Veronica, Betty, and Reggie, as always. Oh, brother, the old sympathy bit. I'll take care of that. Ah, uh, my shoe is untied. Why don't you take hot dog and run home and rest, Jug? Hot dogs? Blah! I'll have another burger and wait for the bus. He doesn't remember me. I'm a mental orphan. <laughs> On second thought, how about another jazz? Last one to the jukebox is a new... Hey, what's going on around here? Ho, <laughs> ho! How careless of me. I must have accidentally tied jug shoes instead of mine. <laughs> Is that so? You know, I think you did that on purpose. You don't say. Oh, let me straighten your cap. <laughs> Sorry, Juggy. Forget it, Grease Top. Grease Top. Oh, oh. Jughead has really lost his head. Here, let me straighten out your belt. <laughs> Cream puff? Cream puff? My arms! I can't move my arms! Get me out of this immediately! All you have to do is slide your hands out, Claude. Here, I'll grease you up a bit. That's whipped cream! You don't say! Hmm. So it is! The only thing to do is take the belt off again! <laughs> Leave me alone! You're inhuman! Thank you! <laughs> this is too good to be true! No comment! A little too snug, chump! Have it your way! Prince Uncharming? I give up! I give up! That's music to my ears, pal! I give up, Jughead! I'll never pick on you again as long as I live! Goodness me! Where did Jughead get all that strength? He's like two different people! I don't believe it! He is two different people! Double trouble. Help, let me out of here. I don't see it. I don't see it. Two jug heads. You know the old saying, two jug heads are better than one. And twice as beautiful. Everything's Archie. Archie's here. Veronica too, Reggie's here. Hey Jughead, where are you? We wanna dance and we wanna sing. Have some fun and we'll be.
adventuring. All our friends are here, but it ain't complete. We ain't the Archies without the Jughead B. Whoa, Archie's here. Daddy's here. Veronica, too. Reggie's here. And here comes Jughead and Hot Top, too. So everything. 